Welcome John Ramshaw to Thursday night at the Poppies training once again. It was uh, Paul Cox last week, it's uh, you this week and uh, a happier personality I think we've got this week after that fantastic win at uh, York City at the weekend. Certainly it was a fantastic performance as well Paul wasn't it? Um, you know to go up there and come away with anything I think would have been a good day's work but to come away with a win and uh, a win that could have been more convincing if, uh, if Callum Powell hadn't hit both posts in the last five minutes and then had one blocked on the line from the rebound. Um, I thought it was an absolutely superb performance from the boys. Certainly um, after, the, after the downward spiral, shall we say, at, at Chorley, it, it was great to get my contract again. It was, though. There was a few stats um, that came out. One you'll be very impressed to hear that uh, it's the first time that I know that both management teams have been booked in the same match by a referee that couldn't speak English. Right, exactly, <laughs> yes. And, and I think that was half of the problem, actually. I don't think he, uh, I don't think he understood things we were saying to him. And, um, he did, I thought, overreacted on both occasions. Um, but let's not go there. No. You've uh, seen, obviously, the, uh, the highlights, etc. <laughs> so um, what's your version of the penalty that was awarded against us? I think it was rather harsh, as I said on commentary. Oh, extremely harsh. I mean, I think Harrison sl slid in to block the ball. The lad has, you know, the lad has hit his shot. And I, don't think he's, I don't think his arms were in what I would call an unnatural position. And the ball is, you know, the ball, I don't even think the ball has Touched hit his it. hand. Yeah. You know, probably if, it, if it has, it's clipped it very lightly. Um, uh, very slightly, but no, nowhere was it a penalty. Nowhere was it a penalty, but it was, it was a, a strange decision. It was a strange decision, mm. wasn't it? But it was a good bus on the way back, wasn't it? Far more happier than it was on Tuesday night. It was a sure. great bus on the way home, wasn't it? It was, yes. Know, we'll um, stop that one there yeah. um, as well. This um, Saturday, we're back at Gloucester. It's the fourth time we've been there in about three seasons. Mm -hmm. We beat them 2 0 earlier on in the season. They've got a, a scoring sensation on loan from Bristol Rovers, Ollie Fulbert with them, um, FA Trophy, a uh, competition Ketron have underachieved in for many, many seasons. Uh, how are we going to approach that game uh, <coughs> against the Tigers? Well, I mean, we'll just, you know, we'll approach it with our normal, uh, as we normally do. Um, we'll, you know, we'll go through a few things in training tonight that we know about them. Um, we've got a presentation upstairs for the players tonight before we go out on the training ground for them to watch and have a look at, at how Gloucester play. Um, the one thing I will say is there are they are a lot stronger than they were when we played them um, earlier in the season. I mean, I, I thought when we played them earlier in the season, they'd fallen into that sort of trap of a team that wants to go full time, but the only people that can attract are young ex academy players. Um, and they looked a very young, inexperienced side, but they've certainly, um, in the last couple of months, they've, they've, they've brought in one or two experienced players. Bernard Mensah, who I rate very highly, he's back from injury. So it's going to be a tough Saturday. It's going to be another tough Saturday, you know. But um, yeah, we'll be we'll give it our all. There's no two ways about that. And then the fixture list gets a bit uh, congested up to the Christmas period. We've got a, another game away at Hereford, and uh, then we're at home against Boston. And they've got Kidderminster Harris looming, who are in superb form, aren't they, Kidderminster? Yeah, it's going to be it's a busy period leading up to Christmas. Um, you know, I, I spoke with the chairman last night, and I said. Uh, I had a day off once, but I just can't remember what it was like. <laughs> and uh, and it's, it's really getting that way, you know, with, with training and matches. I think we're going to be here virtually every other night, um, you know, or, or on the road every other night. So it's, uh, it is a busy period, but... Um, it's the, it's, the, it's the job we choose and, uh, and and just get on with it. It's a good job then that we've got quite a large squad that you should be able to utilise most of the players throughout the games over this uh, next sort of five or six weeks. Yeah, yeah, hopefully so. I mean, we, you know, we're going to have a few missing for Hereford through suspension and um, and, I, and we may have a couple missing on uh, on Saturday because their parent club don't want them playing in the FA Trophy. Um, but apart from that, yeah, we, you know, it'll be a chance to, uh, to utilise the full squad. Um, I think Isaac Stones is going to have a final fitness test tonight, which should declare him fit for Saturday, if we're lucky. Um, uh, and, you know, we've got one or two. Ed, Ed Cook's been recalled from his loan period at Stamford just to cover for um, any any missing players. And, uh, Young and we, Calder? <coughs> well, Ricardo joined in training the other night. Um, didn't do a lot, um, but, but did, some, did some exercises with Rachel and then um, joined in just a little bit of of passing a little bit of support work just to get his ankle moving um, but he's not far away and the boy's pretty determined to get back as quickly as possible he just seemed that way doesn't he listening to him or <coughs> not listening to him but reading his comments on social media he just 
keen as mustard to get back to where he was because I thought we were a different sort of team with him there early doors. Yeah, know, to well, to be, to be honest with you, Paul, you know, Ricardo told me just before his injury, he told me that he'd never enjoyed his football as much as he was enjoying it here at Kettering Town. And I think that reflected in his performances um, because he really was playing out of his skin at the time. Um, and we have missed him without a doubt, we've missed him. So let's get him back as soon as possible. It puts a little bit of pressure on the current incumbents in the position and uh, and that's good you know we love it love, love a little bit of competition uh, keeps players on the toes keeps them performing at the highest level um, but it'd just be great to see Ricardo back because he's such a lovely lad finally John you'd said that with suspensions and not injury but with suspensions and uh, parent clubs not allowing uh, uh, players to play in the FA Trophy is there any consideration of bringing anybody else in or will Dakari get called back from his loan period? Or Well, we can't call Dakari back because he's gone for a month and right. you know, he has to stay the month. Um, so uh, we could stop him playing in the FA Trophy if, if, if I don't know if Peter Sports is still in the FA Trophy. Yeah. Right, OK, we could stop him playing in the FA Trophy. Um, but, but in terms of getting anybody in before, before uh, Saturday, I would have thought not because there's, a, there's quite a tight... Uh, time schedule for getting players registered um, but maybe it's before next Tuesday or there might be a new face arrives um, we'll just might be to, Jordan Crawford uh, time as well then see. to uh, come on and show what he can do <clears throat> well you know Jordan's been very positive he's, he's, he's a lovely kid to work with um, he's very positive about everything he hasn't moaned you know one bit about not being in the side on a regular basis after being one of the uh, the big summer cues as it were signing Jordan um, and, and, and he's, he, like I say, he's, he's remained positive throughout and, and when he gets his chance, I can guarantee the kid will grab it with both hands and, and when he's gone on, you know, as, as a substitute, he's given, us a, uh, he's given us a fresh impetus, he's given us energy, um, you know, he, he's a popular member of the dressing room and, 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 and the gaffer and I both rate him very highly. Um, so, you know, when his chance comes, take it and you know what it's like, we're, we're always loyal to the people who are performing without a doubt. Definitely so. Well, best of luck, uh, John, against Gloucester uh, on Saturday. We'll be covering it for Poppy's uh, TV, obviously, for everybody out there. And uh, better get you back outside in the freezing cold for yes, your training. I, I well, need to go and get my coat on. And your coat on. I might stay in here. Yes, <laughs> well, thanks, John, once again. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Take care.